What's boppin' blockheads? Really cool to see the channel grow up to 123 subscribers in my absence from playing games and making videos. Thanks for spreading the word and joining my community. I really hope to hit 1k uh, within the relative future here. So if you guys are not subscribed already and my videos have helped you uh, with your technic issues or you actually enjoy my content, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That really helped me. I'll be getting back on track for one video a week minimally going forward. I'll be leaving timestamps below in the description for each specific issue and fix, as well as a written explanation on how to resolve the issue or mistake. It's important to keep a cool head and realize it's probably something you're doing wrong that's preventing the mod pack from functioning, not placing blame on anything or anyone else. But you know go ahead and go easy on yourself uh, there's a first time for everything I broke down the issues uh, down to five categories listed below in the description I'll name them as we progress through the video the first biggest issue that I see is gonna be improper file naming what I mean by that is when you get to the point in building your mod pack that you've gotten the bins folder and the mods folder um, created you actually need to add these to a zip file which is going to be the mod pack itself what you do is you go ahead and take these two folders here whether they're on your desktop or inside of a folder already you're going to want to add these to an archive get this into a dot zip format and name this anything literally anything besides mod pack dot zip so i'm going to leave this as youtube tutorial but the biggest issue I see with this name improper naming issue is going to be someone leaves this as modpack dot zip I couldn't tell you why I'm not that well versed with the issues of Technic Launcher why this screws up the entire process but you must name this anything literally anything besides modpack dot zip so we're going to leave this as the YouTube uh, tutorial All right, and then just go ahead and click OK. And now we have the actual mod pack here. The second issue or actually category of issues that I want to dig into here, I want to talk about the Forge version issues. Instead of downloading the Universal, if the Universal isn't working for some reason, download the installer. So if you want to go ahead and click on the installer, Don't click whatever is right here on your screen. I have ad block, so I, I don't click on whatever like clickbait is right here. For the download, just go over here to skip and click. If you're running Chrome, you're just gonna wanna hit keep. So right here in download, we have the actual Forge installer. Now do not run this and do not open this. You're basically gonna treat this as the universal Forge file. So what I mean by that is you're going to want to go into wherever you're keeping your um, mod pack and go into the bin folder. I right now at the moment am using the universal so we're going to delete that. We're going to take the forge installer, just move it right on in there. Like I said, do not run this program and do not open it. You want to go ahead and rename this mod pack and leave it alone for the second issue with forge just make sure you're downloading the proper file so what I mean by that is you know I clicked on the forge website here and I'm making a 1.12.2 pack it's gonna automatically bring me to 1.15.2 and some people just aren't gonna realize what they're doing and they're gonna click oh you know Fitch said use the installer or the universal and they just click this and they don't read which version of Minecraft they're downloading here and this would totally not work if I'm trying to use a 1.15.2 version of MC um, with a bunch of 1.12.2 mods so what I'm gonna do is scroll over here to 1.12.2 click on that double check right here that this is 1.12.2 awesome now that should usually work um, for either the universal or the installer download uh, and do what I just showed you previously as naming that mod pack. For some of you that this isn't working, 
neither the universal download nor the installer isn't working. We just have the wrong Forge version. What we're going to do, since no one has exclusive rights to any mod pack um, and its contents, not even Technic, we're going to go ahead and rip a Forge version out of another 1.12.2 pack. And I'll show you what I mean by that. What I usually do here is I get to my file explorer screen or just open any folder you'll see this right here a little uh, bar to type in something in what you're going to want to do is percent app data percentile go ahead and enter that this is going to bring you to your roaming folder when in the roaming folder you're going to want to go to the dot technic folder mine just happens to be on top it could be in anywhere in this uh, roaming folder you want to go ahead and click on this go down to mod packs and we have a couple different options here so I play a few different uh, mod packs for the sake of our sanity we know that Fitch Lions YouTube tutorial has a 1.12.2 pack uh, and it, we know that it's going to have the forge that we need since this folder or since this mod pack loads properly let's just go ahead and go into this folder go into this guy's bin and we can just rip the mod pack right out of there so we can take this out bang you have a forge right there that is proven to work with some of the mods um, for 1.12.2 throw this forge into your bin just use their forge version it's an easy fix it's not that hard to do and you know it, it, no one can tell you you can't the third category of issues we're gonna go into incompatibility now what I mean by this usually is gonna be the mod pack the forge file that is that you got for some reason it's just not gonna play nice with these mods you're just going to have to find each version of the mod that plays nice with that version of Forge. So let's say you get to this point where you're getting critical errors, it's not loading. This is going to be an issue of plugins versus mods. Now as you can see, um, this is actually a screenshot from one of the users in my Discord. This guy ended up accidentally putting in a tree capacitor plugin. Now, the difference between the plugins and the mods is going to be plugins are made for servers. Do not put plugins in your mod pack. They will not load, and the mod pack will most likely not load itself. Or you maybe just have the wrong version of the mod. So, maybe you accidentally got a 1.15.1 version of Journey Map instead of the 1.12.2. Make sure that all of your versions are the same thing. You know, you can't just take a, a Forge file that's for a different version of Minecraft or take a mod that's for a different version of Minecraft and throw it in the same thing that's 1.12.2. You can't use a 1.6.1. You can't, you can't just take random versions of Minecraft, like either mods, Forge files, whatever. You can't just throw them all together and expect it to work. That's just not how it works. For our fourth section here, we're going to dive into missing components. What this means specifically is you're just missing something here. For some reason, you forgot to put a bin folder with the Forge version in here. Uh, it happens. People just make mistakes. It's okay. Um, or the biggest thing that I see here is that for some reason, you forgot... Uh, one mod that supports another mod. You're, you forgot your core mod, uh, your dependency mod. And I'll show you what I mean by that real quick. So this is a perfect example here with Chisel. So this is what I'm talking about when your mod requires a core mod or a dependency mod. So Chisel now requires a library mod, a core mod, a dependency mod whatever you want to call it in order to run chisel in your mod pack you're gonna to have to download this CMT mod 
So a lot of people's mod packs aren't loading or they're failing to even have the mod show up because they forgot a core dependency or library mod. So let's say I wanted chisel. I'm gonna go ahead and download the chisel mod and put it in my mod pack, but it's not gonna load up. So what I need is the other mod that's required to run chisel. So I'm gonna have to go over here to CMT and make sure I download this mod. If I do not have CMT or connected textures mod, chisel's not gonna load. Chisel not loading might mess up my whole mod pack. Like I explained in my mod pack tutorial, you can easily figure out what mods are required to run other mods by using CurseForge and going to Relations, Show Dependencies. This is gonna show the mods that are required here to run this mod here. Make sure you have any mods downloaded that you need to run your other mods. And this will fix a lot of headaches and issues. Our final section here is file hosting and file compiling issues. Now what I mean by this is in this folder here, I have both my bin folder and my mods folder. Inside my bin folder, I have the forge that I've renamed to mod pack. In my mod folder, I obviously just have my mods. You go ahead and take your bin in your mod folder, like I showed you earlier, add this to an archive. If you're using WinRAR, I'm not very familiar with 7-Zip. If you use 7-Zip, that's on you. I have no clue if some of these issues just stem from using 7-Zip. Go ahead and go to add to archive. Hit the .zip format, zip folder format. Like I showed you earlier, rename this anything besides modpack.zip. Hit OK. This is our mod pack. This right here, this folder, the one that I dragged out here earlier, this is the only file that we want to upload to Dropbox. Do not upload the folder YouTube tutorial is what I named it that has both my bin and mod folder in it. Do not just upload this whole thing with this in it and expect it to work because it's not. You're going to get a download with the bin, mods, and then your mod pack in it. And it, the mod pack's not going to function. So like I showed you earlier, just upload, please, just the zip folder that already contains your bin and your mods. That's your mod pack. It's already done the job of putting these two things together into one complete mod pack. This folder is the only thing you wanna upload to Dropbox. I wanna take the zip file here, not the folder that has bin mods in the zip folder inside of it and upload it. Just the zipped folder that has already put bin and mods together into the mod pack. Take that, drag that, upload it. Now I've completely uploaded my mod pack, okay? Like I said, just this, please. Just the zipped folder that already contains both these in it. Do not upload this folder with all of this in there. You will screw up the mod pack, it will not load. Just upload the zip folder. That's gonna be the last issue, guys. I really hope that this solved your issue with creating a mod pack on Technic Launcher. Uh, like I've said prior, you know, like and subscribe if I helped you. It really helps me grow the channel. Uh, being a small YouTuber, I really don't have a ton of subs and likes. Um, you know, it's it's we're getting there as a community. I hope my content improves in um, quality, uh, and I really hope that I'm out there answering you guys' questions. If you guys have suggestions for videos or what and whatnot, please um, answer them in my Discord. Like, go ahead and leave suggestions here. Um, I have a bunch of different categories. I have help it's vanilla and mod pack creation issues. I am trying to be here for you guys and help you with any issues that you have when creating a mod pack. I'm not gonna be able to get back to you guys all the time or right away. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to answer you guys. If you guys do attempt to DM me um, on Discord, add me as a friend. I cannot rip tell you guys how many people I can't help because I can't reply to you. Um, like as an example, this guy, uh, Nicky Baby O2, you know, he needs help with a mod pack, 
and I can't even reply to him because we don't share, he hasn't joined my Discord, or he didn't add me as a friend. And I'm sorry to put you on blast, Nikki. You seem like a cool guy. Uh, I'd gladly help you with your mod pack when you add me as a friend or join my Discord. But I have no way of replying to you guys. So I'm not blowing most of you off. It's just I have no way of replying to you if you don't add me as a friend and you DM me. Or you guys don't join my Discord so we share a, a mutual server to message back and forth. Discord is just weird like that. Go ahead and hit the sub and like. Uh, really helps the cause here. And please pop on over to the Discord. Like even if you guys don't sub me and like the videos like come over here we play factions together on um a couple different mod packs i think we're gonna play on the volts community server so if you guys want to all join up and play on volts that'd be really cool have a big group on there for a faction uh or just come kick it in here you know post whatever you want in general chat and i'm not really strict i got uh shit posting and memes for you guys that just want to have fun um, otherwise, just join this community, and then, uh, somebody in here, if it's not me myself, somebody in here might be able to answer a question for you to fix your mod pack, or, uh, improve your mod pack, even. Uh, this guy, Reed, has been super helpful in, um, fixing a lot of issues that you guys have had. So, come on over, join the community, like and sub if you enjoy the content. Uh, as always, this is Fitch Lions signing off, reminding you guys, Hakuna Matata. Don't swim in lava.